Well, the weather was a little chilly this morning and a little windy, so we just had to sleep in, get some stuff done at home this morning, pack for our elk camp that we're leaving for next week, and we're gonna do a little afternoon pheasant hunting. So, we're just loading up the vehicle here, getting ready. It's benefits of pheasant hunting, you don't have to be up at the crack of dawn, like you do in a duck hunt, or be out there at sunset. Best time to chase pheasants is in the afternoon, sun's out, wind died down. Hopefully it gives them a little bit of opportunity to get out and uh, meander and we're gonna be ready to with them with Gage. As a matter of fact, I believe our little stud hunting dog is right there. You ready to go hunting, bud? We just got a few last, th last things to load up in the vehicle before we head out and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we find a bird or two. Come along, let's go do vlog six. Let's go do it, bud. can either walk in, hit that slough, and just work it to the northwest. Okay. And then when we get done with that slough, hit that hill that we walked out on the way last weekend. Okay. And walk that fence line where we saw those two roosters yep. last weekend. Or we can hit that right away and save that spot for later if we think they're... I think if anything gets up now, they're going to fly further into that way. So that's why I say we work this side first, and then we hit that last corner where we that one grouse got up in the hillside and come back. Yep. So let's just dive into the slough, hit this, and then come up to that edge up there and walk that fence line where we saw those two roosters in that slough and just work that towards that way. Okay. Sounds good. Does that sound like a game plan, Gage? Yeah? You excited? Let's go see if we can't get you a bird or two. All right. Time to let the bear out of the cage. AKA Gage. Yeah, you're excited. You there, Gager? Dog looks like after catching a couple birds. I should say catching, fetching. Well, our homework finally paid off. We've been going to this spot the last two weekends. We've seen plenty of roosters. We've got a grouse out of here, but every rooster we've gotten up until today was not getting up anywhere under 75 yards to 100 yards. So today, sunny day, by far the nicest day we've had. Conditions were just right variable light wind gauge could get a scent and lo and behold first bird was maybe 50 yards from the vehicle so we had one rooster and the second one was at the end of a push two birds got up a hen and a younger rooster so that's two for two today I call that a success
Good day, good elk training. Gage got a good workout in. He just flushed a massive cubby up. Did you get some grouse for us, bud? Yeah, we weren't able to finish the deal on those, were we? But like you said, good elk training. This time next week, we'll be loading the pickup up, getting ready to head west to the Rocky Mountains. Stay tuned, give me some fun stuff coming from that. This was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. I don't know if I wasn't a hunter, fisherman, any kind of outdoorsman. I don't know what I would do on Saturdays, but this is definitely what I love to do on Saturdays. This is what happens after a successful hunt. A little snack, a couple little beverages. Celebration, it's a good day. And folks, this is why we pheasant hunt right here. This is the end result. We have a little, uh, what, white bean chili going here? White pheasant chili. This looks really good. 